Myanmar's social services space in Myanmar that has been providing tech and even integration services to migrants since 2012. When we started our integration service was a uh, face-to-face -face approach, so the number of business that we were able to start was a very limited number. Started in 2013, people in Myanmar were able to uh, access to internet through their smartphone. In the smartphone ownership and the uh, access to internet were increasing so quickly since then. We use our technology to um, uh, scale our integration service, um, uh, but we lean heavily on uh, touch to make sure our uh, support get logged in. So we choose uh, to make our tech and even our touch. And our touch continues to be important uh, uh, in our integration, uh, but the tech is now making that touch for more efficient. When COVID-19 pandemic shut Myanmar's economy down in early 2020, we were unsure what to do. It was a very difficult time for the organization as we had to make a lot of decisions quickly based on the situation. We also realized that our property or hundreds of small business owners were experiencing the same thing. We wanted to help them as, uh, as much as we can survive COVID-19 economic price. Our intent was to uh, help business owners grasp uh, their business most present problem set some goals and the craft and individual light uh, plan or action. And that uh, we have to uh, switch all our activities to the digital platform in a very short period of time. Digitalization of our integration model has definitely changed our business model and uh, operation. We were able to handle far more business than before, but the cost structure and uh, pricing model are uh, very different. For the long-term profitability of the organization, we still have much to learn in this as we optimize for a digital operation. 